We are very excited. I think it's been a tremendous half year for Woodside. It's a testament to the value of the merger with BHP's petroleum business. Uh, whilst we only have one month of reporting from the combined uh, new Woodside Energy Company, uh, you can see it in the numbers. Uh, production is up, revenue is up, uh, balance sheet is strengthened, and our gearing is down significantly. Uh, all of these factors, uh, of course, combined with the higher pricing environment in which we're operating, uh, have allowed us to, to declare these profits and, to, and have allowed us to uh, return significant value to our shareholders. And that's important as well, considering the depression that we did see when it came to basically every single oil and gas company over the course of the, the COVID impact. So moving forward, particularly when it comes to demand, are you expecting this resilience to remain that we have been seeing because of all of these mitigating factors when it comes to energy supply at the moment? Yeah, so uh, as we look forward, I think uh, current market conditions are very supportive and are very positive. Um, we are, of course, mindful that there may be headwinds. You know, there are concerns around uh, inflation and what that might mean for economies and potentially contracting. So we need to be uh, cautious and thoughtful in our approach. Uh, but if we look at LNG, which is our primary commodity, more than 50% of our production is LNG, uh, the macroeconomic parameters for that really have changed. As Europe is quite serious about trying to move away from Russian pipeline gas, they have increased their demand for LNG substantially over the past six months. Uh, so we feel really good about where the market is headed. Uh, it means we, we can't always, uh, we can never take our eye off the balance sheet, uh, but we do feel pretty good about where we're headed for the second half of the year. Yeah, and the reason why I mention that is because if I'm not mistaken, 18% roughly in terms of spot exposure, you're looking at around about 20 to 25% coming through for the full year and potentially even ramping that up towards around about that 30% mark. So that would mean or imply that you're, you're taking on the risk that these supplies are going to be incredibly tight and the expectation is that you're going to be able to then take advantage of that tight supply. Yeah, so as we think about our portfolio and the indices we sell on, much of our long-term, uh, many of our long-term contracts are linked to oil price indexation, either Brent or uh, one of the Japanese crude markers. Uh, but we recognize that by keeping uh, some of our production available to sell on spot markets, it does things like it helps with uh, the risk of operational upsets, uh, but it also allows us to take advantage of those uh, the additional volatility that we see in the spot gas prices. Uh, it's been really positive for us thus far year to date. And, you know, again, as we look at uh, the outlook for the second half of the year, we expect it will be quite positive for the second half also.